Senator Kevin Kramer joins me. Good evening, Senator. And you have made a referral of this to CFIUS, this transaction. But tell me, what are the standards? I mean, how, how does the committee, how does it weigh whether it's national security or not? I mean, how do they decide this? Well, this is, thank you, Greta, first of all, for, for this opportunity. This is exactly why the request went not only to Janet Yellen, the Secretary of, of Treasury, which oversees CFIUS, but a key member of the committee, and that is Secretary Austin, Secretary of Defense. Um, and, and the standard really, it's sort of a case-by-case -case basis, but you have this august group, which Sarah did a fantastic job, by the way, in her tutorial. Um, you, you see why they would all have a, have a role in this. The reason it's um, important to Grand Forks, or at least important to those of us that care about national security, is because this particular investment, the Fufang investment, is a 370 acres that will become a corn milling plant within 12 miles of the Grand Forks Air Force Base, which is a very important ISR base that flies the Global Hawks today, will be flying a new, new mission in the future. And of course, we just uh, cut a ribbon a couple of weeks ago on a space development agency, a ground control uh, system for a uh, tranche of satellites. So needless to say, there's a lot of sensitive data that goes up and down from Grand Forks and, uh, and could be subject to easily easily be uh, interfered with or, or stolen. So does CFIUS have teeth? I mean, I say that, you know, I mean, uh, there's a, quite an interesting group of people who are who oversee it, but from administration to administration, since there are no sort of set rules, it's sort of like what each administration sort of thinks. But does it have teeth and it makes a decision and recommends it to the president and the president says yes or no? So it does have teeth if it should go all the way to the president. So the first review process is actually just that, a review. They have to do it within 45 days, and, uh, and you can actually expedite that even. Once a review is done and the review, you know, reveals certain things, certain threats perhaps, or a risk assessment of some sort, it can then go to another 45-day um, investigation. If that investigation demonstrates that the mitigation of risks would either be difficult, costly, impossible, the president can then review it for his own 15 days, and then the president can determine whether or not the, uh, as Sarah said, whether or not the investment should be allowed to go forward. You, uh, in this I, case, in Grand Forks, I think the first review is all that will be necessary, quite honestly, because local officials could take it from there. All right, let's say that some sketchy person wants to buy some land in your state, really sketchy, and gets rejected by CFIUS. I mean, do you, do you have the budget to make sure the person doesn't just go, you know, go back home and trade it up, trade it to someone else and have somebody else come in? I mean, imagine it needs to have some sort of budget because you could, you could probably game this a little bit. Well, perhaps, but um, remembering that it's against foreign investment that we're concerned about, that CFIUS is concerned about, and um, the, in this particular case, again, the Fufang case, the local community leadership and the state has done a really good job of putting in guardrails, including clawbacks. So let's say, for example, the investment's made. It has been made. The land has been purchased. Um, but if anything sketchy should show up, the state has and the community have reserved the right to end the deal, and they would then, of course, take ownership of the property. So to their credit, they've done a really good job of protecting the investment to make sure it doesn't leave the country or get compromised. All right, we'll see what happens with uh, this investment and all future ones. Uh, Senator Kevin Kramer, thank you, sir. Thank you.